Hello, Knights fans, and welcome back to another edition of the Pete Zanella Show. And as always, I'm joined by the head coach of the women's program, Coach Pete Zanella. Coach, how are you? Pretty good, Chris. Well, you guys have, are on a three-game win streak now. You won four of your last five after defeating Stony Brook last week. Like, how, how big of a win is like having getting a victory, knowing you have a 19-day layoff in between games? Well, with final exams and then the you know the Christmas break, we have we have quite a uh, break here, but. Going in, winning four of these last five and winning these last three. That was a good road win at Stony Brook, team with a winning record. Uh, NJIT, another team with a winning record. So, you know, and also the, the St. Peter's road game. So, um, you know, winning four out of five going into the break is a good way to, 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 to take the break. And then we, we're working very hard in practice right now. And then we got, a, you know, a big tournament at Lehigh University. And then we'll get ready for conference play. Well, Danielle Pankey, she's been your leading scorer all year. She's coming off a game at Sony Brook where she had a career-high 21 points. Can you just talk about her game this year and improvements you've seen from last year? Well, she definitely, uh, you know, improved really all areas. Uh, but one thing she's doing is she's, she's hitting the offensive boards a little harder, doing a better job of finishing around the basket. Um, she's taking good shots, and we're trying to get her on the foul line. That's very important for her game is free throw attempts and getting on the line. And she just really improved her all-around uh, you know, offensive game. She's always been a very good uh, defensive player and a solid rebounder. Now your second leading scorer, Erica Livermore, she's having a big year as well. She's ranks fourth in the country with seven double-doubles. She's ranked 17th in the country with 11.3 rebounds per game. Like, do you see this coming at all? Well, we, we, kind of, we just kind of added the minutes. If she played more minutes this year, she was going to average similar to what she's doing. So we, we actually did kind of expect it. She's, she has stepped up, though. 11 rebounds a game, that, that is uh, you know, not easy to get. You don't see too many players get double-figure boards, and, and I think she's going to continue that. And uh, we're actually looking for her to even step up her, um, you know, running the court and, and, and posting up a, a, a more and trying to get her the ball more. That's something we're trying to work on. Now, over these last three victories, you've had the same starting lineup. Um, the addition of Ryan Newton seems like that's solidified. She had 15 points career high at St. Peter's. Last game in Sony Brook, she was in a bit of foul trouble, but she still managed four assists, three steals, made some sort of contribution. Can you just talk about her game? Well, she's a, she's a big athletic wing. Her, her focus is on defense, and that's what we're looking for there. She also has more assists and turnovers, and that's key. She's one of our better post passers. And we're just looking for an all-around game from her, and any offense we get is a bonus. So she can cover pretty much any position except maybe the center spot. That's also uh, something that we can use her versatility on defense. And on offense, she kind of can play uh, you know different positions as well. Well, our own Gavin Neville got a chance to sit down with Mariah in a recent interview. Thanks, Chris. Hello, everybody. Mariah Nunes joins us now. And Mariah, uh, definitely an expanded role for you in the offense this year as a sophomore. You went for a career high 15 against St. Peter's. Can you talk about how your role has expanded this year as a sophomore? Um, I think this year I just let like the offense come to me and I think as a team we played together pretty well like we were passing the ball more we have more of a four out one in offense so with the ball movement I think those games where we, I did have a high scoring game it was like I was getting uh, passes from my teammates and I think the defensive end I was able to like pressure up on defense and get steals and stuff so that I was able to get points on the offense. Talk about the beginning of the year kind of a tough stretch for you guys having to play some big teams Penn State um, and Syracuse, so what was that stretch like for you guys? Um, honestly, it was pretty tough, and going out to a big school, it's never really easy. Um, I think that for the most part, we did try to compete with them, but we kind of lost it towards the end of it. Um, it did benefit us, I think, because we were able to like see a high competition and like really high skill level. And when we like have to play against like our competition, our conference, um, it really helps us out. So we see like how good like players are, and then it kind of brings us down to a, a lower level. And we we are able to like run faster and like keep up with them because we were playing against like the top teams, you know. So now that you guys are starting to play well, picking up some picking up some wins, how different is just the energy on the team now? Um, it's a lot more positive. <laughs> Um, I just think if we continue to do like the fundamentals, the basics, and like play as a team, like we're just gonna like there's only up from here, you know. Now with the holidays coming up, are you gonna be able to go home to Canada? Yeah, I actually leave Friday morning right after practice. I'm super excited to go see my family and friends. It's gonna be good. Should be good. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck coming up. Thank you. And now back to you, Chris. Thanks, Gavin. As we talked about before, you are in the middle of a 19-day layover. So, 
what how, what's practice been like? What have you had the players doing? Do you, when do you send them home for Christmas? Um, and when do you bring them back? Well, you know, we're taking four days off for uh, Christmas. Then we'll come back the next day, the 26th, that night. Um, really, this this past week, we've been really working on our fast break. Running the court, failing lanes, passing it ahead, pushing the ball ahead. And that while we're doing that, uh, that really works on the conditioning. We've been keeping the shot clock at 12 seconds. So that really forces them to really push the ball and, and, and try and advance our fast break skills. And while they're doing that, they're improving their, their ball handling and their one-on-one -on -one skills as well. Saturday, December 29th and Sunday, December 30th, you're at the Lehigh City Christmas Classic at Lehigh in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. You're going to take on an 8-3 Boston University team and a 1-10 Binghamton team. Um, can you talk about those teams and what they present? Well, Binghamton has played a tough schedule. they got a solid team. and they, you know, they just won at Buffalo. So they got a very competitive team. I think it's going to be a good game. And then talking about Boston University, they've had some great wins, you know, beating the top 20 team in St. John's, winning at Marist. So they're, they're just a tremendous team with a couple of great seniors. And it's going to be a good challenge for us playing back-to-back, -back, uh, you know, away from home uh, at Lehigh. Uh, but it'll be a good opportunity for us to keep working on our game, and, and we're going to try and get some wins out there. Okay. Obviously, it's, it's Christmas time right now, and, and you have three young ones at home. Sure. Can, you, can you tell us what's going on at the Sinella household? Well, it's kind of crazy this time of year. We're trying to get ready for we got the, the tree up and the decorations up, and uh, we're hoping Santa brings um, you know some America doll accessories. That would be you know, good for my seven-year-old daughter. Um, my son is looking possibly for a baseball bat, batting gloves, and some Derek Jeter and Mariano Rivera posters. And my four-year-old, he wants Nets stuff, New Jersey, uh, New Jersey Nets, Brooklyn Nets, uh, cards, T-shirts. So he's looking for Brooklyn Nets stuff. How, how is he a Nets fan when you're an avid Knicks fan? That's tough. That's tough. And tonight the Knicks play the Nets. So uh, my, uh, my other son is also a Knicks fan. So we're going to be in a little battle. Uh, tonight could be could be rough at the house. Somebody's gonna lose. Well, it sounds like it'll be a fun time at the Snell household. Well, we'd like to wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year from Epic Unites. You too, is you too, Chris. Family. Thank you. And uh, check back the first week of January for another edition of the Pete Snell Show. Thank you.